paper. Dr. Norman Relkin of Weill Cornell Medical College says protein patterns found in spinal fluid may help detect Alzheimer's. Currently, the disease can only be confirmed with a brain autopsy. Right now, we, we have to wait until people have symptoms before we can diagnose the disease. Uh, ideally, what we'd like to be able to do is identify the disease before it effectively starts. In a study out today in the Annals of Neurology, Dr. Relkin reports that finding these patterns, or biomarkers, are like finding a fingerprint for the disease. This is an important step forward in understanding this devastating illness and how it develops. But the test is not yet ready for clinical use. I was reading your paper. It's about 90% accurate, right? A little over 90%. Scientists believe a buildup of abnormal proteins in and around brain cells are at the root of Alzheimer's disease. The theory is that proteins turn into larger plaques that jam communication between cells and progressively kill them. Dr. Relkin's spinal tap test is just one of several new ways of detecting Alzheimer's early. I don't like lose, losing my ability to remember things or do things right. 72-year-old Walter Klein, a former computer systems manager, started having memory problems three years ago. His doctors began taking pictures of his brain with a PET scan and found he was losing brain cells over time. Well, the light is okay here. The diagnosis? Alzheimer's. To see somebody that was, you know, um, your loved one to just, you know, become what I call a child, um, it's, it, I mean, it hurts. It really does. Now, without looking at a clock or But because the disease was caught early, Walter began medication, including Nemenda and Razadine, to relieve the symptoms even though the disease remains incurable. The cell phone is on the wall. We were able to catch Alzheimer's uh, at the very first signs and get him started on treatment. And we feel that we've stabilized the disease a little bit better than we would have had we not caught it early. But is knowing you have a disease before you have symptoms always good? If there's a disease for which there is no cure, and which is a degenerative disease that leaves you in bad shape, do you want to know? We've done a study which has shown that individuals who have family members with Alzheimer's disease do want to know and that getting this information about their future risk is still a relief because it takes away some of their uncertainty. And John, if there's no real cure for Alzheimer's disease, why is early detection so important? Well, even though there's no cure right now, the hope is that as new drugs come along, that the earlier a person starts to take them, the more effective the medications will be in fighting Alzheimer's. Also, even though 60 to 80 percent of dementia is caused by Alzheimer's, there are other causes, lack of blood flow to the brain, over-medication, a whole bunch of neurological problems, and other possibilities. So it's really important to get a good diagnostic tool set together so that we can help diagnose the cause of Alzheimer's and separate it from other causes of dementia. All right. Dr. John LaPoop. John, thanks so much.